Okay, well, I'm Betty Russo, and welcome to your Roller Show here in Phoenix. Um, it's our fifth year for Phoenix, and as many of you know, we don't always have the same divisions at all of our shows. We have to juggle that between all the other shows and, you know, what works, what doesn't work, and that sort of thing. This year we have 212, we have women's physique, we have bikini, and we have fitness. So if you are, thank you, I thought I needed to be louder. <laughs> um, we do appreciate you choosing the Europa show. We're gonna have an exciting time, and I want Ed to speak first and just let you know a little bit about the venue, where you're gonna be at the convention center. Um, but I first wanna find out how many is this your first show, first pro show ever? Wonderful, wonderful. And we, we have about 60 pros competing. So again, thank you for choosing the Europa. How many have competed in one of our Europa shows before in any city? Dallas, Orlando, wonderful. Charlotte, you sure? Phoenix. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Pro debut. That's the one that just, they raised their hands. Let me so. see. Pro debut. First show ever. See, that's great. That's excellent. So I'm going to let, I'm Betty Pariso, your promoter, owner of the Europa Games, my husband, Ed. He is usually at the convention center, but he comes over to, to meet all the competitors at our meeting. I'm going to let him tell you about what the venue is like this year and what you're going to see when you get over there. So when you leave the building, if you're staying in that hotel, you're going to go out where the reception is, not where the uh, cars drop you off. There's two doors where the reception is. One was where they dropped you off the car. You go the one facing the street, take a right, it's two short blocks. You'll actually see the convention center. It's about a five-minute walk. And you'll see a sky bridge. It's two buildings. There's a south and a north convention center. We're in the north, so it's on the left. When the sky bridge enters the convention center, there's doors right there. That's the center of the convention center. Walk in those doors and down the escalator, and there's the open. When you go in the front door of the expo, or the entrance, so you see a big entrance unit. You walk in the entrance unit. You go straight back, and there's the main stage. If you're facing the main stage, to go backstage, do not go through the seating area because you're going to have the ticket, there's going to be ushers there. Go around the outside, the best side is the left side. So you'll see the stage, kind of walk around the pipe and drape, and there'll be an entrance on the back side, backstage area, you can go that way. So don't go through the crowd because uh, it'll be packed. Eventually when the show starts, you won't get in and out, especially at 2.30 show. Right, and the NPC will be before you guys. It's 9.30, so depending on when they get over, it could be crowded when you're trying to go backstage just to get back there and, and pump up or whatever. So just find your way, the easiest way back. Kind of the back wall, go around the seat pipe and drapes, angle out, kind of like an auditorium. So you go around the back side of that, and then you come around the back side of the backstage area. But there's probably 600,000 square feet. I don't know exactly. We've got 12,000 athletes competing in about 20 events. Plus, we've got the Phoenix Suns. They're doing some things here. We've got the U.S. Air Force. We've got four or five different martial art events, from karate to judo to grappling. I know we have wrestling. We have arm wrestling, powerlifting, and uh, how many moves? Over 120 booths. Some of them we've got some 25, 40 booths. So it's about, well, y'all have a good time and showcase some of the dessert buffet stuff. If you've been here before, who likes a dessert buffet? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again for the new are going what? Okay. So. Real quick, let me make one more statement. You're, you're actually the first group of people that we told this to. Some people in here know this. But it's not for next year. But. And we have a real big announcement that we're making. It'll come, you'll see a press release by probably next month or two. Watch for them, look for them, go to our website, go to the IFBB website, and, and stay in touch with what our, what's going on in our shows. Look for your division, and I hope that you will make plans to enter one of those shows in the future. When you get backstage, I'm gonna kind of do the nut and bolts here, and then we'll move quickly. There are dressing rooms, men and women, Bathrooms are right backstage. Tanny is backstage. Pump up area, backstage. Music guy, backstage. Lots of area back there is huge, so you can spread out, relax, bring your air mattress, whatever you do, <laughs> to, to chill. The main thing is be backstage. Evan, our head expediter, will let you know what time you need to be there, but the most important thing is don't be late. We can't come and find you. We'll make every effort to get you on stage. 
we don't want anybody to miss. That's the most, as a competitor, I, I bug the expediters to death, but I was never late for a show. So just be there, chill out when you get there, but make sure you are there on time. to let you know what groups are gonna go on and when we, et we estimate your time to be on stage. There's no buses, it's easy walking. I walked it in heels yesterday, it doesn't even, it's not even too long. It's really easy, so don't worry about that. Um, for those of you, especially ladies, there are plugs and things in the restrooms. However, I tell everyone, get yourself ready before you get to the venue. Don't expect to shower and do your hair while you're there. It's not enough space or, or time to do that. So get ready, get backstage, and do your touch-ups. Especially, I mean, some of this is not for you veterans, but there are new competitors that don't know what's going on back there. We accommodate you very well, but you have to be prepared as well. All competitors will do your routines, so no one's being cut. Everybody does a routine at this show. Your head judge is Trey Bennett. He's right here. Uh, John Tuman's also in the house. He's one of the pro judges. Um, and I'll introduce our staff in a little bit. This is your competitor badge to get you in and backstage. Your button will not get you in because they don't understand that. The staffing that works the doors are convention center staff. They don't understand who you are, that you look dark enough to be on stage, that you've been working hard and dieting, none of that. All they know to look for is a particular badge or a ticket or a wristband. So you have to have that. Do not give it to your son, your daughter, your wife, your friend, your trainer to hold for you. Don't leave it in tanning. You wouldn't believe how many badges we find on the floor in tanning. Um, and then we find other people wearing your badge and they're trying to get in free. And it's a mess. So, <laughs> and we kick them out. You get in trouble because we come looking for you. <laughs> um, so that is important. I, mean, I can't stress enough how important that is. Now, if by chance the world comes to an end and you've lost your badge or something happens, you have to go to ticketing in the lobby, it's not at the entrance doors, but you will see ticketing for the Europa show. You have to go see Lacey. Mm -hmm. Do not go to the lines that say Expo Ticket. Those are again, convention center staffing and they don't have a clue what you're asking for. You have to go see Lacey. By the way, this is my daughter Lacey, so she will take care of you, get you a badge, or get me to come get you, although I'm gonna be in heels. <laughs> I'm going to have to go across the 600,000 square feet of space to get up there. So you may be delayed. So I say all this to impress on you how important it is that you hang on to that badge. Okay? Let me say that real quick, since you talk about ticketing, if something were to happen and you need help, you can't get to the convention center. The expo ticket booths, there's about eight of them. They're by themselves, and that's just to get into the expo. Lacey and Pico, there's a section about four, about, about four, four people, two booths. And it's bodybuilding tickets. All you have to we'll do is we'll call. We'll call bodybuilding. That's us. So go to that booth if you have a problem. Uh, backstage pass. If you want someone backstage with you, backstage pass. It's $100. Pico is your person to see. And the dessert buffet. So for years and years now, 25 years of promoting, I have always provided, uh, started doing it that many years ago, of desserts for the competitors, just as a way of saying thank you for choosing our show. And I used to make them all myself until the convention centers got wind of it, said, huh, oh, we can make money off her. So they said, you can't bring food in anymore, we, we're gonna make it for you, but they do a great job at every convention center. Um, we have lots of ooey gooey brownies and cookies and all kinds of things for you, including my now famous bread pudding, uh, although some people go, ooh, bread pudding, but trust me, it's really, really good. You wanna get the bread pudding, look for the big bowl of sauce beside it, drown your bread pudding in the sauce, and then enjoy it. Um, it is gonna be located, as you're looking at the stage from the audience, it's gonna be under a big yellow tent. You can't miss it, where you're gonna go in and out most of the day. And the reason we put it in the audience is we want all your friends and family to see you stuff your face and enjoy yourself a little bit after they put up with watching you, you know, diet and all that for so many weeks. So that's our way of giving back and just saying thank you for choosing our show, and I do hope that you enjoy it.
Okay. Before we get everybody called up, I want to introduce the people that you're going to mostly come in contact with when you're here. First of all, everybody knows Bob. He's going to pronounce your name as the way you should be using it if you're not already using it that way. <laughs> Pico is on the end here. He comes from Dallas with uh, all of our crew. He is now family, although not by blood. But he has been ticketing, and he is also there. He'll help you, and he knows a lot about the show, so he'll be able to help you. Uh, that's who you're going to see today for tickets. Right here is Mallory. Mallory is my backstage manager. She's also my daughter-in-law and the mother of my precious grandson. And who, one of the youngest just lost his first tooth. Oh my God, he goes, took two days. We're hoping he would lose it before Mallory got on the plane to come out here. And she sent me a picture and she goes, now he's crying because this was his favorite tooth and he lost it now. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> and then on the end is my daughter, Lacey. She is head of our national sales manager. She is also, um, when we're on site, she's in charge of ticketing and all that area, so she can help you in any way. The guy that just left, back there is Kevin. Kevin is our head expediter, and Wendy, are you back there? For yeah, she's back there. Okay, hit it around the pole. Uh, Kevin is gonna be your onstage expediter, and he will make sure you are taken care of. Do not worry. For those newbies, don't worry. He will take care of you. For those that are veterans, like I was, and you ask questions, he may not like it, but do it anyway. <laughs> He'll say, don't bother him. I tell you, bother him. <laughs> he loves him. Uh, <laughs> uh, Wendy is his better half, and she is going to be backstage. She may be on a bullhorn if needed, because you have to understand, this is not an auditorium. This is a huge expo with events going on the entire time. Everything goes on at the same time. So you have to listen at this show. Uh, we do have a bullhorn if needed. Um, we will walk, hang, walk the floor to find you and get you lined up. But she is your head person backstage. She'll have some helpers. But these are your four people that you need to lock eyes with and know who they are so you know who to go up and ask uh, for help. And that is the one thing I will say. Ask for help. If you have your suit, fall apart if you have, you know, you've got to go to the bathroom, you've got anything that's happened, tell us and we'll work with you and try to get you on stage. But if you don't tell us, there's not much we can do. So we do want to make sure that our goal is to get you on stage and that you're having a fun time at this show. So come talk to us, let us know what's going on and we'll do our best to make it a great experience for you, okay? You don't have to tell the sound people where do I stand. Right They're right there. So you don't have to tell us when you come up, I want to be on stage or off stage. We don't need to know that. You just tell Kevin when you get to stand there, and he'll tell the audio guy, and you're good to go. Okay? Don't go to Kevin for any of these items. He's got a staple gun, duct tape. Duct tape. That's it. Um, Tanny, if anybody has Tanny appointments. They are right here on this floor, just down the hall, around the corner. You probably saw them as you came up the escalator. Pro Tan and Liquid Sunrays are our official tanners. They are the only ones that are allowed backstage. You can do your own yourself back there, but they don't bring another tanning company backstage. Um, they are the only ones. You need to have an appointment with them. It is not free. That's that's why they're in business. They need to to get paid for their services. So make sure you take care of that. Um, you can go check with them if you don't already have an appointment. Real quick, uh, backstage, women's dressing rooms on one side, facing the stage is on the left. The same on the left is also both. We actually build like the great tanning booths back there. So there's a bunch of tanning booths for liquid sunrays, a bunch of tanning booths for pro tan, because once we're on site, all tanning booths there. And then the men's are on the other side, and you're 10 feet away from the women's and the men's restroom backstage. Everybody who's been to the show before knows I don't need a mic. Guys, we're going to make it really simple. We've got four pro divisions. The pro show site starts at 2.30. Okay? At 2 o'clock, I need 
Pro Fitness and Pro Bikini there at 2 o'clock backstage, okay? Because basically those first two divisions tomorrow, it's quarter plus. After your routines, do we have to have time to recalculate the scoring? Then we'll bring you back. We will tell you the awards order when we get through it. Okay, we'll tell you at that time when you need to be back. Because you got to go get back and you, your, one of your two pieces and come back up. All right? So it's the same order both days. Start time, 2.30. 2 o'clock, my first two groups. 3.45, 2.45, my women's physique. 3.15 for my men's 2.12. All right? Bob? All right. As everybody knows, there's an Olympia qualifying event. Winners will qualify for the 2017 Olympia. Of course, those are the top five earned points by the Olympia qualification series. Any questions on the rules, regulations? Everybody's good? All right. We're going to start things.